Hello, or should I say hallo. In this video, uh, I'll be discussing German numbers, which is in um, German, of course, Deutsch. And um, as pertained to, um, I'm about to become a little fluent, um, actually a lot of fluent in German. I will also do a video on the Italian numbers as well as I've already achieved fluency. Um, German first now. German numbers are also um, very interesting and they sound really cool. I wanted to start with um, zero and I'll put that over here which is null. Kind of like in math when you think about a set of numbers that has no real solution then it's a null set you know. Just a way to remember. One is ein Eins. Two is zwei. Three is drei. So whenever it says like one, two, three, let's go. It's like eins, zwei, drei. Okay. Four is wir. I always think of um four when I think of fear. That's the way it's pronounced. Fear. So whenever you think of four, just say, oh, that's the fear one. It's wir. Sounds like fear. Five is fun. You have this uh, thing, it's called a umwalt. Makes pronunciation a little bit different. Um, sext. And seven, I'll put below this uh, zero null. Um, seven. It sounds exactly like seven. There really should be some change. Um, eight is oct. Sounds a little like eight. Nine is neun. Sounds exactly like nine, right? N e u n. And then ten, it sounds exactly like ten. Zen. Okay, so that's um, 0 to 10 right there. I also want to go over um, different numbers and a way to basically to follow the patterns of the numbers in order to get any number you really want. Just remember, the 0 to 20 are the ones to remember as a basis and foundation. Um, from then on, after 20, you can apply the pattern and keep going on from there until you get to 100, um, which is 100. Uh, let me clear this screen. Okay, so we're going to start with 11 now. 11 is elf. Kind of like a fantasy thing. Um, 12 is zwolf. Zwolf. There is this umwalt above here. The two dots. And 13. This is where a pattern follows, starts to follow, you see. We have dries and which, if you remember dry, it was three. So dry, which is three, and then zen, which is ten. So ten plus three, that's thirteen. And fourteen, we have another. It's virzen. Not virzen, it's virzen. Which is basically vir, as in four, plus zen, which is ten, fourteen, fifteen. It's Funzen. Funzen. Little multiple there. Sixteen. It's Sixen. Notice I didn't put the entire sex over here. I just put the four beginning parts of that there. And that's important to note that it sort of cuts off short and you drop that last part, you drop that S and T. Okay? 17 I'm going to do up here. This one is interesting. It's Sib Zen. It sounds a lot like 7 again, but it's just the beginning of um, Sibin and then plus Zen yields um, 
17, which is Zebzin. 18 is Oxen, just as you would expect. Sounds a little like Oxen. Oxen. 19 is what you would expect. Nuenzen. I messed up that end, whatever. Um, 20, it's important to note, is Zwanzig. 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 Remember that every W in German is actually a V. So, Zwanzig. Um, I want to hit 30 before I start going into the 21 area. It's actually... Dreisig. Now let's see this. It's like this. This B. This B in German signifies, it's, it's sort of a cursive B, or should be, is signifies a double S. So two S's. So Dreisig. And then 40 is Wierzig. 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 Okay, you see pattern, you add this zig, and then we get to 50, which is, guess what, funk zig. Funk zig. Okay, we go all the way to 100, which is 100. But anyway, I'm going to clear this. To go back on that, um... In order to find the pattern to go to, let's say, like, 21. Well, what's 21? In German, it's a little bit strange. You um, sort of go backwards with numbers, almost. But you say this and that. So if I'm saying 21, which is 20 plus 1, right? I'm going to say it's 1 and 20, which is ein und zwanzig ein und zwanzig ein und zwanzig ein und zwanzig okay um if i wanted to go anywhere else with that i would keep doing this part which is let's say if i'm doing like zwei like twenty two like zwei and Zwanzig. Zwei Zwanzig is twenty two. And I'll just keep going. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, seven, acht, neun, zehn. And keep going from there. And keep repeating that. Just keep the same ending. And keep make sure that und is in there. Und, um, und is and. It's very easy to remember. Um, I also wanted to go into a little bit of basic German, not just numbers, but that's the main focus. Uh, in order to say hello normally, you say hallo. Um, in order to say what's up, you sort of say, um, we get, we get, we get. Um, in order to say, um, if you wanted to say, I am, you say, ich bin, I am. If I want to say, um, I am German, ich bin Deutsch. Or if I want to say, I speak German, ich spreche Deutsch. Deutsch, like that. And Germany is also called Deutschland. Actually, our English language comes from much of German and French combined. So that's why, if you ever wondered why German sounds similar to English, that's why. Um, that's basically these basics for German. I will go more into detail with these basics that I didn't really touch the, you know, how are you sort of thing, or good morning sort of thing. I'll do that in a different video. Um, when I cover colors and all that. But for now, this is just numbers and a little taste of 
what it really the vocab in German is and uh, gram grammatical structure, you know, verbs. I'm about to do one on Italian, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.